Are images of Jesus idolatrous? In the 8th century AD, Emperor Leo III ordered the abolition of icons, icons of Jesus, Mary, angels, and saints. This sparked the great iconoclastic controversy, so called because those who supported the eradication of icons often on the grounds that they violated the Second Commandment's prohibition of graven images, were known as iconoclasts or image breakers. The controversy sparked in the 8th century persists to this very day. So, do images of Jesus really violate the Second Commandment? First, If the Second Commandment condemns images of Jesus, then it condemns making images of anything at all. And if that were the case, God would have been guilty of contradicting himself because he commanded that the Israelites adorn the Ark of the Covenant with the images of cherubim. Furthermore, in context, The commandment is not an injunction against making a graven image, but an injunction against worshiping a graven image. As such, God warns, You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Finally, if viewing an image necessarily leads to idolatry, then the incarnation of Christ was the greatest temptation of all. And yet, Jesus thought it appropriate for people to look on him and to worship him as God. That worship, however, has to be directed to his person not to his appearance. Indeed, idolatry lies not in the making of images, but in the worship of man-made images in place of the image of the invisible God. As we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 Verse 49.